What's up, all you beautiful runners? Hope you're having a fantastic weekend. Hope your training's going well. Hope you're getting your runs in. My name is Andrew Martin, and today we're going to be talking about Asbel Kiprop. Now, if you don't know who Asbel Kiprop is, he is a three-time world champion in the 1500 meters. He is the gold medalist from uh, the 2008 Olympics in Beijing, and he's also the fifth fastest 1500 meter runner of all time, running a 326.69. So basically what I'm saying, he's fast. And the recent news coming out about him is that he was actually tested positive for EPO. Now, if you don't know what EPO is, this is the drug used by Lance Armstrong. This is the drug that allows endurance athletes to basically become monsters. It allows them to go a lot farther at a lot quicker pace. So he was tested positive for this. And the full story goes that he was tested for this on November 27th of 2017, and he was notified this year on February 3rd of his positive test results. And according to Kiprop, there are a few troubling issues about this that I'm going to dive into. The first issue is that he was tested by his doping official uh, on November 27th, but he was told that they were, they were going to visit him on November 26th, the day before. And this is the first violation that he's claiming of the doping rules. You're not allowed to tell them that you're coming to visit them. Uh, so this is a little troubling, but uh, this also is kind of insignificant because this wouldn't really yield a positive test result in any way. In fact, this would probably give Kiprop the chance to make sure he could cover it up somehow. So this claim doesn't really hold much weight in my opinion, but you know, this is just one of many that he's claiming. The second is that he was actually told to give the doping official who tested him money. Uh, he, he was confused exactly why he was given this money, um, but apparently, according to Kiprop, uh, he thinks that he didn't give the doping official the right amount of money, uh, and so the doping official kind of took this the wrong way and thought, you know, you're not going to give me the right amount of money, so I'm just going to make you test positive for EPO. And again, I'm not entirely sure exactly the the exact details, there's a few articles out there about this that don't give the exact number, but all I know is that Kiprop uh, gave the doping official money through wire transfer through his phone, so he transferred him the money, um, and this is also not a normal practice. I don't think they're supposed to, they're supposed to give the doping officials uh, money uh, who test them, so it's a little iffy, but again, I don't think this would yield a positive test result. And the last allegation that Kiprop is really making is that once he was told to give the doping official um, this money, he left his sample in a, in a location, took his eyes off of it, essentially, went back into his house and was looking for cash or, you know, some form of payment, and came back. And he's claiming that during this time, the sample could have been tampered with. You know, it's very possible that he was just out there and they, I guess, added something or switched the results or something like that. I'm not entirely sure, but these are his claims. And also, Kiprop is on record saying that, I don't know if the amount I remitted could have been less than what was expected of me, and if it caused annoyance, that may have resulted in the contamination of the sample, he said. Kiprop is also on record saying, I pray to be given the benefit of the doubt, as I am cast into this lonely isolation. I know it may be impossible to defend myself from any accuser who has made up his mind, and who would view my protestations as a mere denial. I, however, pray that all and sundry of goodwill do not hasten to sum summarily make negative assumptions and judgments about me. I am innocent. I did not dope. And in response to this outcry from Kiprop, the IAU, or the Athletics Integrity Unit, states... In response to Mr. Kiprop's public statement, the IAU confirms that recombinant erythroprotein, or EPO, was detected in a urine sample collected from Mr. Kiprop on the 27th of November, 2017. On the 3rd of February, 2018, Mr. Kiprop was notified of the adverse analytical finding, and on the 20th of February, 2018, Mr. Kiprop was informed that the B sample analysis had confirmed the adverse analytical finding. On the 16th of March of 2018, Mr. Kiprop was charged with violations of the IAAF anti-doping rules, and the matter is currently proceeding before the independent IAAF disciplinary tribunal. So currently at this time, all we're seeing is that the IAAF and the uh, IAU has maintained that they didn't do anything wrong. This is a normal test other than the fact that the doping official did contact him a day early. That should not have happened. However, that will not yield a positive EPO result. So they're maintaining that their their regulations and all their testing was normal, but at the same time, you've got Kiprop, who's vehemently denying this. He's stating that he did nothing and was never a doper. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at. And currently, in my opinion, uh, this is a little too fishy to not really be the case. I mean, we've seen countless athletes dope. Um, it's just been a prolific thing. There's probably more that haven't been discovered yet because they know how to cover their tracks. Um, in my mind, I'm leaning towards, you know, Kiprop probably was doping. These are kind of, uh, these aren't really that, uh, that concrete of denials. You know, there's, there, he's basically saying that it could have been tampered with. 
Um, you know, this whole money thing that he's kind of bringing up is a little fishy as well. Uh, it just seems kind of like a stretch in my opinion. But that, hey, that's just me. I'm kind of, uh, part of me wants to give Kipper off the benefit of the doubt, but at the same time, uh, there's, there's a lot of athletes and, uh, you know, reporters out there that claim that this isn't exactly a surprise. So yeah, I'd be curious to know what you guys think. What, do you think Kiprop is innocent? Do you think he's guilty? Um, you know, from one of the fastest 1500 meter runners of all time, uh, I'm not sure what to think exactly, but you know my opinion. Uh, I would love to know yours. Please let me know and feel free to like and subscribe for more running content and I'll see you all in the next video.